Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 281. You get the NASDAQ off 83. S&P's down 25. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason from MajorLeagueTrading.com. I think he's got that surfboard out, and I think a couple of the, uh, instead of sharks biting him out here, I think a couple of bears are biting him. Oh, boy. Jack oh, I, Gleason. I wish, guys. What's I'm back going in on? Oh, I, I wish. I'm back in Chicago, man. Oh, oh you're back in Chicago. <laughs> I'm dropping a tear for you, man. Oh, they my kicked, goodness. They Why'd kicked you leave? me out Why'd of you Costa leave? Rica. <laughs> oh, no. Why'd you leave so early? <laughs> uh, I was only there for four months, and I definitely should have stayed for six. Uh, no, last weekend, actually, when you guys called me, I was at a volcano. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so, but, yeah, I am back in Chicago, and... I am not happy about it. Oh, that is too <laughs> man, funny, that man. was an incredibly quick four weeks, uh, four, four months. months. That wow. is my. Yeah, it flew. It I absolutely bet it flew, flew for you because I can't well, believe it, man. Well, That's the markets, of course, it was like I was thinking, yeah, maybe we'll get some calm markets. Of course, it's probably been the craziest market volatility wise that I've ever traded. And I've been like trading for 10 years. I mean, obviously, when I first started learning, it's not exactly to the extent that I do now, but it almost seems like every Thursday you guys call. Uh, there is a crazy move. Once again, there is, you know, big moves here today. Uh, Nas I'm short some NASDAQ futures from the overnight session, so I'm having a good day myself. I got supports coming in at 70.20, but the, one of the things I really wanted to go over with you guys here today is just the S&P on a daily chart. Just okay. because, you know, if you look, if you really look at this market, this is the first break we've had since the uptrend has begun. We have not had more than two consecutive days down since the lows of December. Uh, was it December? 20 yeah, 26. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, depending on if you got the extended session turned on or off. Or, right. But um, so, you know, we're looking what's like going to be now our fourth day to close with a new low. Um, or lower than the previous close. So a couple levels that I think everybody just needs to be aware of if this selling continues where we could go. And there's two things I'm watching that are deeper pullbacks. It's the halfway back for the year, um, you know, which the low of the year right now is on the 4th of January. And that low to high, believe it or not, the halfway back is going to be all the way at 26, 26 quarter. Now, I do think that will trade at some point this year. The halfway back for the year will trade at some point this year, whether that's right now or in three months or in you know right before the I do not know. But that twenty six twenty six really lines up well with the consolidation period of the last week of uh, January before this leg up that really right. began on twenty nine. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's a really important level. I don't know if we'll get down there, but it's something that maybe could be a gravity uh, zone moving forward. And then, of course, the full halfway back long, which would be, I think, a little bit of a deeper pullback. That's going to be something everybody's looking at, and that's at 25.68 using the low of 23.16 from the 26th of December. So cool. uh, that that's what I have for that. And then as far as, like, if you go to an hourly chart of the S&P 500 um, and you look at, so we had that gap up open Sunday night and that gap up open Sunday night made a new high. I believe it was in the S&P and the NASDAQ both made new highs. Russell and the Dow did not. But from that high of the open of Sunday night to the swing low of Monday when volatility truly picked up, I think we had like a 52 point range, the 10 day yes. week, like yeah. 20. So we just doubled the range. Volatility picked up, and that high to low had a halfway back short. That 50% retracement was 27.93. That traded on the close of Monday, consolidated all day sideways Tuesday, and then we have completed those targets here. So during the day, if we're going to continue to go straight down, the low of Monday drawn to the current low should as act, should act as our resistance. Other than that. You want to take the high of Tuesday and then draw that to the current low. That's 2770, and that would be the next major resistance level I would look above to potentially load up on a short position. So I know that's all an earful, but that's what I got for you no, guys. No, yeah, no, that's that's clean, that's clear. Yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. And you know, bottom line is that those small caps. How about the small caps yesterday? They got smoked. They started this baby down. Oh yeah, and you know what they started? They started to the move down. Um, you know, really when we sold off. Last year, September, yeah, they they, they they topped out September twenty first, where the market topped out October third, right? Yeah, 
Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it's been a big, big sell off. I for support levels in uh, the Russell, I'm looking at I got a 1510 and a 1482 are the two spots I'm looking at. 1510 and 14. Uh, 82 are the next two levels below but um yeah shorts are shorts are on deck really uh for the first time i mean you can take little trades here and there short but for the first time in a long time they worked well uh yesterday and uh today which we haven't seen so no we haven't seen that follow through right it's, it's yeah. kind of intriguing okay. yeah no and how about gold guys what happened there i thought you guys told me you're going to keep the market bid and, you know, it blows my, well, look at this. It's blowing my mind that the dollar just broke its highs and gold's only down 20 cents. Yeah. They're well, still maybe. buying it. Yeah, still buying it. There's always a floor in there somewhere, right? Um, well, yeah. I mean, uh, it looks to me like it's more than a floor because it's like this is really unusual that you can have the dollar at highs and they can't whack gold. You know what well, I mean? I mean, it's down from the high that we go back to February 28, 1349. I understand that, but it's like, yeah. it should be a lot yeah. lower, man. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. I mean, we're really checking back into the 25th of January. That's when that breakout began. Yes. We had a four and a half point range there on that on the 25th. And I think, you know, that, that really was the low in the base of the entire year. So this should act as support. What I wouldn't be surprised to see is just a little crack below the lows of the year down to uh, maybe like 1272 area, just enough to scare some people, take them out, and then reverse back above. So that would be a potential trade I would look for is uh, the break below the lows of the year, down to the 1272 area, and then the trade trigger for me would be a, a move back above. So that's something yeah. I'm going to... No, that, that makes sense. They like spiking it down. Well, it's going to be interesting to see uh, in the dollar today, the index itself, is that if this is going to be a spike higher because you know that, I think it's 96,195 is the number. No, 97,195. Okay, it's a high you know, from December 14th. Yeah, yep. and we'll see whether, you know, it's going to hold it or not. We, we, yeah. we blew by it. Um, and 97.230, that's the high of February oh, that, 15th. Oh, so that's, oh, that's the high then, yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay, so it's well, 96. I, I'm, I'm just looking at this dollar chart. So that was off the ECB press conference. With, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. The Eurozone's yeah. not going to grow this year, Jack. It's not happening. 1.1%, 1. Yeah. not 1.7%. <laughs> Good thing I don't spend too much time vacationing over there, no. Yeah, just uh, stick to the islands, man. Just stick to those beaches. I, I do too, man. That's why we so live in that, Florida. That Listen, was a quick four months. That's amazing. That is amazing. We had the build-up where you were going over there, man. Then we had the first show. <laughs> we're going back six months, a year, man. That's time crazy. is crazy, man. Time uh, is crazy. Uh, uh, no, it, it was so it was so chaotic. I mean, just just everything. I mean, my internet was not working half the time, which was okay, because then I just go to the beach, and it's just like. And my landlord asked you, "Are you gonna be back next year?" I'm like, "Yeah, probably." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, man. Well, well, listen. We welcome home. Stay warm. You get yeah. You, it'll warm up in another. Spring's 60, almost here. It's... 60, 90 days in Chicago. You might get to 50. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, Jack. Take care, guys. Thanks, Later, Jack. Thank Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down at 246, NASDAQ up 65, S&P down 21. Come right back.